Hey gang, why not take a few minutes to hang out with me for a really sweet back and bicep workout. Plus today, I officially kick off my pull-up project. So let's get in the gym. I'll show you the back and bicep workout and we'll talk more about this pull-up project. Let's go do it. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, so today is Sunday, September 4th, 2022. And uh, today is a back and bicep day. So I'm going to take you along with me for that little workout today. And it's another kickoff to another one of my goals that I want to accomplish before the end of this year, 2022, or before it turns 63. And this is kind of a minor goal, but it's a, it's a goal of being able to do 22 solid, strict pull-ups by the end of this year. And today I wanted to set a baseline while I'm doing my back and bicep day. I figured it would be a good day to set a baseline. i uh, got to be honest with you, it didn't turn out exactly like I'd hoped, but I'll show you how that went. And I'll show you the rest of the back and bicep workout, which did turn out pretty good, I must say so. Uh, so... Without further ado, let's go to the gym, get this back and bicep day done, set us, uh, set us a bar for our pull-up project, and uh, then we'll catch back up in a few minutes, wrap it all up. Let's go do it. Alrighty, let's get today's back and bicep workout underway. As you can see, I'm starting today's back portion with pull-ups. Now, I mentioned earlier that today is also the day I officially kick off my pull-up project. Now, this pull-up project is a goal of mine to be able to do 22 legit pull-ups by the end of this year, 2022. So, I figured today, being back day, would be a good a day as any to set and establish a baseline just to see how close I am to that 22 pull-ups. And uh, to be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed. I expected a little more. I expected 19 or 20 on the outside, but all I could muster on this day was 18. So that's my baseline. So I've got four more pull-ups to get in before the end of this year. And I think that's very, very doable. This is just a second set I did to failure. I did three sets of pull-ups to start off here today, each to failure. It was 18, I believe on the front, it was 18 on the first set. I believe I did 10 on this second set. Failed to record the third set, but I think it was maybe eight at the most, but uh, they were all to failure. About a minute's rest between sets there. That was a good three sets of pull-ups to failure to start the back workout. Now I'm going to move into this hammer strength high row or lat pull machine. Uh, just wanted to do some more kind of vertical pulls and I'm sticking with my current theme of higher volume, I mean less volume, higher weight, a little less work uh, maybe at a little bit more intensity, fewer sets, higher weight, with maybe some more intensity. Now on this particular machine, that translates into sets of 8 to 10. I did three sets of 8 to 10 reps here to near failure. And the weight I'm using here is 345s, 345 pound plates on either side which is a little more than I normally use when I use this particular machine. I, I don't use this machine often, maybe every three or four back workouts. But when I do, it's generally in the you know 12 to 15 rep range with a little less weight. But, so there you go, three sets of hammer strength high pulls, or high rows we'll call it, giving us a total of six sets of back work to this point. Okay, now I'm going to transition into some cable, seated cable pulls using this mag bar there. 
I've started to really enjoy this mag bar. It comes in a you know, variety of widths. This is kind of like a medium width. And it keeps my hands at like a 45 degree angle. And what my goal is here on these seated cable poles is to do some work on the mid-back area, the rhomboids, the lower traps, and of course we're going to hit the rear delts and to a degree the lats, but I want to focus on the mid-back thickness. So that's why I'm doing this particular movement. I'm, I'm calling this a horizontal pull um, as opposed to the vertical type pulls on the pull-ups and the is uh, hammer strength high rows. Now here, I'm going to do three more sets, only this time I'm using a straight bar just to change my hand placement just a bit. And this um, does put a little bit more emphasis on my rear delts there and the upper third of my back, which is cool. All these cable pulls I'm doing here, I like to focus on pulling my elbows, pulling with my elbows, and I've mentioned this before, pulling or lead with your pinkies, the outer portion of your hand and your elbows, and it keeps the biceps out to a degree and focuses all the work on the back. And like I said, these uh, this six sets of seated cable pulls was to focus the work on the mid-back rhomboids, lower lats, and it felt good. That was a pretty good set, six sets right there. Now I'm gonna transition in, this is something I don't normally do, uh, I'm gonna transition into three more sets of vertical pulls, except uh, what I'm doing here is a little different than normal in that I'm using that V-bar there. Normally I'll use handles, or uh, a longer bar to replicate kind of a pull-up type uh, lat pull-down. But here I'm using the V-bar. Again, three sets in the eight to 10 rep range, keeping the weight a little heavier than what I'm normally used to. And this may seem like uh, a lot of sets here. That was six sets of the seated pulls and then I'm doing three sets of verticals. But this is, this is less work than I normally do and a few less reps, and as I said, just a little heavier, a little more intense. But uh, these, these felt good. It felt good to use that, that V-bar. That was a different feel. It was a good stretch, and it did hit the lats really well. Liked it. All right, back work is done. Now we're gonna transition into some bicep work. Now I like these. This is some uh, cable curls, and uh, normally I'll use a straight bar here but today I just decided to use this easy curl bar because it's a little bit wider than the straight bar I use just to give me a little different feel and here I did three sets of these cable curls in the uh, 10 to 12 rep range today to near failure but it was still continuing with, with the theme it was a little heavier than I normally normally work with and um, this this six sets here was a pretty sweet pump. This was a nice a nice uh, three sets. I, I like that cable curl. It, just the uh, tension on it, the feel of it, it just works really well for me. Then I'm going to move into three sets of hammer curls. And here I was working in the uh, ten to twelve rep range, at least on the first set. I think the the last two sets it was. 8 to 10 reps because I stuck with those 50 pound dumbbells and they got a little heavy. I like these because uh, they're a lot of work and, and uh, this is what I like to do. Change the movement up at the end of the hammer curl session where it gets a little heavy. Just move it up this way towards the chest and uh, it, it's, it hits the peak of the bicep really well. But those hammer curls, they're a lot of work and they're good for arm thickness and I love them. Now I'm going to finish up today's bicep work with three sets of these rotational supinated curls, I'll call them. I'm going to start with the, you know, the hammer curl position, palms facing the body. 
then uh, curl up, rotating outward and supinating as much as possible at the end. So that's three sets of those for a total of nine sets of bicep work at a pretty intense level, which is nice considering we got a pretty good back workout in as well. So the biceps were hit with the back and the biceps were hit with a nice bicep workout. Then I finished up with some calves today. Today was some calf work. I usually do this like every other workout or so. But uh, that was a pretty sweet back and bicep workout. Pull up project is officially kicked off. And I want to thank you for being with me today. Thank you. Alrighty, there you go. Today's back day for September 4th, 2022. Pretty good workout. And I got my baseline for my pull up project set 18. So I was really expecting 19 or 20, but eh. Have to be able to, haven't really fo focused on pull ups too much, really, in, uh, in the sense of trying to increase the number. So that's what I'm going to try to focus on. I think 22. Uh, is a reasonable amount to expect to be able to do by the end of this year 2022 so hopeful about that and that's pretty much all I've got today I just want to say thank you again for taking the time out of your busy day to hang out with me because I do feel like you're with me and it does help so thank you thank you very much and if you would do me the kindness hitting that like button and clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already if you have thank you so very much so that's it that's it for today um i'm gonna get on with the rest of the day and uh with that i will say till next time go get them mark out